am very delighted to be in front of you again. We are into our seventh chapter, Division for Growth and Development. Are you all aware that all organism, even the largest, starts their life from a single cell? Yes, life begins from a single cell, zygote. You may wonder how a single cell then goes on to form such a large organism. Growth and division are the characteristic features of cells. Indeed, all living organisms. All cells divides into two daughter cells. These cells grow and again divide, giving rise to a new cell population. So, cycles of division and growth allow a single cell to form a structure which consists of millions of cells. The stages through which a cell passes from one cell division to the next cell division is known as cell cycle. I repeat, the stages through which a cell passes from a cell division to the next cell division is known as cell cycle. Let us examine the stages of cell cycle. Cell cycle is divided into two phases. Interphase, a period of preparation for cell division and division phase, the actual period of cell division. A cell attains its complete growth during interphase. During this phase, some changes takes place inside the cell. Number of cell organelle increases. The quantity of cytoplasm increases. Cell size increases. And the very important change is the genetic material duplicates. In division phase, there are two phases. Division of nucleus or it is also called as karyokinesis. Division of a cytoplasm, cytokinesis. Nuclear division is followed by cytoplasmic division. The fully grown cell after interphase undergo division phase and becomes daughter cells. Interphase and division phase gets repeated in a cyclic manner. They together constitute the cell cycle. Peculiarities in cell division ensures the uniqueness in each organism. Cell division are of two types. They are mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is a cell division which helps in growth of the body. During mitosis, mother cell divides into two daughter cell with no change in their chromosome number. So, it is called equational division. I repeat, the mother cell divides into two daughter cell and each daughter cell will be receiving the same number of chromosome what their parents have. So, there is no change in the chromosome number in the daughter cell. So, mitosis is also known as equational division. As we discussed earlier, the first stage of cell division is karyokinesis, that is division of nucleus. Division of nucleus in mitosis is completed through four phases. Let us examine what are the changes that occurs during the four phases. 
The first phase is known as prophase. The changes that takes place during prophase are condensation of chromatin reticulum to form chromosomes. Chromosomes are seen to be composed of two sister chromatids attached together at the centromere. I repeat, chromosomes are seen to be composed of two sister chromatids attached together at centromere. Nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappears. Centrioles move towards poles and spindle fibers are formed from the centrioles. In plant cells, centrosomes are absent. So, spindle fibers are formed without centrioles. Second phase is known as metaphase. Spindle fibers attach to the centromere of chromosomes. Chromosomes are aligned linearly at the center of the cell. During metaphase, chromosomes are aligned linearly at the center of the cell. Third phase is known as anaphase. Each chromosome splits simultaneously at the region of syndromere to form two daughter chromatids. Chromatids begins to move towards opposite poles. So the major change that takes place during anaphase is chromatids begins to move towards opposite poles. The fourth phase is known as telophase. During this phase, daughter chromosome reaches the poles and the chromosome clusters together to form chromatin reticulum. Nucleolus and nuclear membrane reappears and two daughter nuclei are formed. I repeat, during telophase, the daughter chromosomes reaches near the pole and they clusters together to form chromatin reticulum. The nucleolus and nuclear membrane reappears and two daughter nuclei are formed. Subsequently, the division of cytoplasm takes place. More about division of a cytoplasm we will discuss in the next session.